a knitted heart shape for three-dimensional softies. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today, we are going to knit this heart shape in stockinette stitch. It creates a really nice, smooth surface. And since stockinette stitch tends to curl, this pattern has the heart shape edging in garter stitch. It is absolutely perfect to knit up as puffy hearts and softies. So I've designed a really simple pattern and the link to download the free pattern is in the description below. This heart shape is totally perfect for Valentine's Day and all year round as a gift to anyone you love. So to begin, we are going to cast on three stitches. Now I'm going to be very detailed in this tutorial. It's not a knit along. Um, if you would like to knit along with me, you can. You just will have to press pause every now and again because I will skip over the boring parts. So here we are on our very first row. It's our knit row. All we have to do is knit these three stitches. Super duper simple. Okay, it is increase time already. So on row two, KFB, that means knit front and back. So we're gonna knit. Now instead of taking it off the needle, we then knit into the back, throw our yarn around. We're gonna come off and you will see we have two stitches where we only had one. And now we're just going to purl one. And the last stitch again is KFB. So let's watch this again. So we're going to knit. And then rather than take it off the needle, we go into the back, throw your yarn around, knit through, get back into focus. And where we had three stitches, now we have five. Super cool. I love increasing. It's great. And we are starting the first of our two humps, I call them, on the very top of our little hearts. Um, so here on row three, you'll see, super simple, we are only going to be knitting all the way across, and this is five stitches of knitting right here. And already, we have our last increase row. So we are going to start with five stitches and turn it into seven. So here we go, on the very first one, it's knit front and back, so knit, and then go into the back, throw it around, knit through, and we have two stitches where we only had one. And now these next three stitches are just going to be purl, and we're purling because we are doing the stockinette stitch, which makes such a nice, smooth surface. And on our very last one, this is our last knit front and back. So we're going to knit, don't take it off the needle, come around to the back, throw your yarn around. Here we go, knit through, awesome. Okay, so now we have seven stitches already. Super cool. Okay, and then we just, on row five, we are just going to knit all seven stitches and this is the completion of hump one already. I told you it was a quick knit. This is, goes really fast. And you know what? Believe it or not, once you've done this a couple times, this pattern is really easy to memorize and just do in front of the TV without having to think too much. Okay, so those seven stitches, we're gonna keep on that needle. We're gonna take our other needle and we're gonna start over again. We are going to cast on that other needle and then using our original needle, we are going to be making hump two. So as you see, hump one just stays on the needle as we create hump two. So I'm not going to bore you with making hump two all over again. Um, you can stop and rewind if you're knitting along with me or you can just refer to your printed pattern. Okay, so here we go. 
We are going to knit the final seven stitches of hump two. Now I want you to see that when we do this, we should have both humps with the right sides on the right side of the needles. Now, if you look and you see that one has the wrong side and one has the right side, just go ahead and carefully take them off your needle and flip them around. Okay, so now we're going to simply knit across and we're going to, according to the pattern here, we we'll just have three rows, no increases, no decreases. This first one, we're gonna knit one, and then we're gonna purl 12 all the way across. And here, in the middle, you'll see, this is where the two humps get joined. Super simple, super duper simple. So we just continue on, on row six here, Curling our 12 stitches, and on the last one, you will knit. Okay, it's time for row seven, and all we have to do is knit all the way across the row. We have 14 stitches, so I'm not going to bore you. Go ahead, hit pause on the video if you are knitting along with me. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We have all 14 stitches, looking really really good it's time for row eight we're going to knit one and now we're going to purl 12. again these last three rows that we've done there's no increasing no decreasing we're just sort of making the body of our heart right here oh it looks really good and now it is time to decrease so the first decrease is going to be here on row nine. We're gonna knit one and then we're gonna do slip, slip, knit. And that's slip and slip. And then we knit into the front. If this is new to you, uh, we'll be doing it a few times if you're just watching. If you're knitting along, you might need to pause and um, rewind it a couple of times. And there we are where we had two, now we have one. And we're going to knit across the row for eight stitches until we're at our final three stitches. At that point, it's time to do another decrease, which is the knit two together. This is my favorite one. Knit two together and knit one. Now on our next row, all we have to do, super easy, is knit one. We're gonna purl 10 and knit one. And a little bit about the decreases that we're doing. The reason that they're different is that the stitches will slant into the work. On slip, slip, knit, it slants one way. On knit two together, it slants the other way. So it helps our, our heart shape up the way we'd like it to. So here we go, row 11, slip, slip, and we're gonna knit, and we're gonna stay in focus. Throw it around. Awesome, okay, so now we are going to knit six. This is going by pretty fast, isn't it? After knitting six, we'll be left with three, stitches and we are going to knit two together. There we go, knitting two together, knit one. Awesome, we have 10 stitches on our needle now and it is time to just knit one and then we're gonna purl eight. There's one, there's two. And at the end, there's eight, and we are going to knit one. Again, just go ahead and pause if you're trying to keep up with me. Um, this isn't a traditional knit along. I am trying to edit a little bit, so I don't bore you. Um, and here we go with another decrease. We're gonna slip, we're gonna slip, and we are going to knit. And again, I have the free download of the PDF pattern in the link below. 
So if you have a printer, it would be really great to print it out. And um, when I'm knitting something new, I definitely like having a printed pattern so then I can write on it, I can mark off each time I'm done with the row. Uh, so if you like to knit like that, the download is available to you for free. And here we knit two together, we knit one, and now we only have eight stitches. And of course, we're gonna knit one, and then we just purl these six until we get to the final stitch. And at the final stitch, we will be knitting one momentarily. One moment, please. Here we go. That's purl five, purl six, and knit one. Yay! Okay, so now we're already at row 15. Oh, and our heart is definitely shaping up. We're almost done. So we're going to knit one. Again, we're going to decrease. It's going to be the slip and the slip and the knit. Right into it, just like that. Throw it around, knit through, yay. Now we're only going to have to knit two, one and two, until we get to our final three stitches here. And we're going to knit those two together. Yes, we are. Then together. Decrease and knit one. All right. How many stitches do we have? We have six. So that means we are going to knit one and then we are going to purl four. And finish this up by knitting that one. Okay, row 17. This is gonna go by really fast. Knit one, slip, and slip, and knit them together. Ching, ching. And then we already, we knit these two together. There we go. And then we just knit one. Yay, so we have four stitches. We're going to finish up here. We're gonna knit one, purl two together. Our little point is almost done. All right, knit one. And now for the four stitches, we are going to turn them into two. And we're just gonna keep this easy. I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. Okay, here we go. Looks great. Awesome, okay, so now we're just gonna bind off. We're gonna knit those last two stitches and we're going to take that one stitch over and around to just do a regular traditional bind off. Let's get back into focus here. And with our tapestry needle, just kind of pull the yarn through. Once you have knitted up two of your heart shapes, to make up the front and back of your softy, simply tack them together with the right side of your pieces facing together, then tack them together with yarn and your tapestry needle. Turn them inside out, and then it's great. You can just fill them up with the little loose ends so we don't need to bother um, doing anything with those. And you can fill them up with either lavender seeds, which I love to do. Uh, you could also use stuffing or little bits of yarn and then just close it up. And you are done. A perfectly knitted heart softy. Your friends, family, and loved ones will cherish this thoughtful handmade gift made especially by you. And thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. When you subscribe, you will receive a free knitting video every Monday. So make sure to check out all of my favorite Valentine Day and heart-shaped knitting projects. Bye!